Okay, sorry about that cut there, guys. Um, I don't know if you could hear it on the mic, but what sounded like a gunshot just echoed through my window, and we found out later that it was actually a firework. But definitely still enough to startle us for a minute. <clears throat> but now we're back to the game. So let's go ahead and keep collecting. Yes, we found wood. We need wood. We're basically going to steal everything from these villagers. We're not going to leave them with anything. Just always want to make sure that you're keeping an eye out for hostile mobs. Uh, because, as I said earlier, they can come from anywhere. And they are very dangerous. Uh, so let's make sure we get all of the wood. There's a pig currently pushing me around. I'm not going to bother killing you yet. You can live for the time being. I'll just make sure there's nothing else back there. Doesn't look like there is. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and nothing in there. Let's check out what there may be in here. Are jousts not violent? Doesn't seem like they are. They don't appear to be. Uh, right, I can't take those because I'm not a high enough farming level yet. Okay. So we are going to want to set up a home. And we will make one relatively soon, hopefully. Um, we are still kind of exploring. That's going to be a place to explore up there. Tumbleweeds are scaring the absolute crap out of me. We're going to want to explore that for sure. But I think we're probably going to want to have some gear before we go in there. Um, <coughs> keep exploring. <clears throat> Keep checking all of the chests that I could find in any of these buildings to see if we can find any more slightly better loot. Uh, we are starting to overheat, so we are going to be hit with hyperthermia. And I will need to find a way to deal with that by cooling down. Generally, you do it with water. Uh, however, if I cannot find water to sit in... Then I will need to find another way to cool down. Um, this water looks like it could be okay. We should see if the farm water will work. And it will. Okay, good. So we know that I can use that <clears throat> as a source of cooling. We can also use this little pool. Uh, we should drink real quick. Not the cleanest water, but good enough. Okay. So in order to make planks... I don't actually know how we make planks. Uh, plank. We need a saw. How do we make saws? So sticks and iron, or obviously I could do this with gold as well. I do need a crafting bench though, so let's make a quick little crafting bench. And let's just do some stuff from the water here. Okay, so sticks and I believe gold? No? So I know I can make an iron saw with that, but how do I make... Can I not craft this? I guess I can't craft one. So I do need some iron. Okay. Um, luckily, I know how I can get iron. All I need to do is find a furnace. I believe there was a furnace. There are furnaces in one of these buildings. 
I think it's this one. This big one that I went through. Yes. Okay. Let's get some coal. Okay, and now with that, I should be able to... Is this not how it works? Oh, it is. Okay. So I should be able to smelt that this down into some iron. Um, of course, I'm unsure of exactly how planks are going to work, but only one way to find out. What was this? Shears. Okay. So like a saw, and then with a saw we can do this. We can make planks. Okay, so let's turn all of our wood into planks. Very useful. Okay, now let's sort ourselves out here to have all of our stacks. Okay. Now, we should be ready to... I need to get my saw out of there. Okay. Cool. So, now we'll be able to build ourselves a small shelter. Um, in doing so, we're going to build one around some water here. So, we're going to build this little shelter here. Spot of water so that we can obviously soak when it starts to get too hot. Um, I'm gonna build this up. I know there was definitely a more efficient way to do that, but I'm not really caring about the maximum efficiency at the moment. Uh, I do just want to get stuff kind of done up so that we're ready for nightfall tonight. I don't have any wool, so that is kind of a bother, but... Now, I have this unlit torch, and now I need a matchbox. So let's see how to make matches. Matchbox. I need paper and slabs. To make paper, I could use birch wood, and I don't have any birch wood left. I just have planks. Uh, shoot. I could also make a matchbox with two matchboxes. Um, well... I don't believe birchwood planks are going to work to make paper. No, they will make a button. But they will not make paper. This would be very dangerous, but I might have to do it. Let me try to get a torch here. I think these are permanent torches because they're vanilla generated. Absolutely am I happy with that. Alright, so now we have, I believe, a source of heat. How do you make campfires? Campfire. So wooden cobblestone. And of course, we'll build, you know, expansions to this house in, in time. Um, but for now, I think we're going to just go ahead and let the day, or the night, play out. 
and we'll be back in a short little bit here. Okay, so actually, with tonight, let's go ahead and make up some um, some basic tools. So we're gonna need a pickaxe. Um, I want the pickaxe for sure. These axes will have to wait to be used. Put my extra armor there. Gold. I don't actually know what gold can be used for. Let's take a look at some crafting recipes with gold. So, gold still, it's basics. You can't really make anything out of gold. That makes sense. Obviously, to make golden nuggets, I can use a bar of gold to make nine. Or a sunfish will also make some. So, let's go ahead and make... Um, I don't know if I really want to make any golden items at the moment. Okay, so a golden hammer might actually be cool. Uh, but I probably won't know how to wield it yet, so let's not use that quite yet. Hmm. Just kind of taking a look at some random items that we have here. Uh, we will need to obviously kill dragons at some point. We'll need to hunt all sorts of the wildlife that come with these mods. But for the time being, we'll just keep most of our resources to ourselves and use things as it becomes apparent that we need it. Um, we'll go ahead and take the carrots out. Oh, I'm unable to eat carrots. I did not know that, actually. We'll eat a pork chop, however. And, again, obviously not exactly a source of clean water. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh fuck! <laughs> Got <him. laughs> That was the dumbest way I could have ever possibly died. <gasps> we get to spot at the waystone. What the fuck? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so my own stupidity aside, we're now back in the house. Uh, we didn't lose much, fortunately. So that's one of the many things that I was talking about that are very dangerous at night. Um, that was really stupid to go down into the water like that. So let's go ahead and remake our tools. Um, for just a few basic tools that we need for daily living. And get our other two pieces of armor here, and go ahead and wear them. Um, that was terrible. That was a horrible decision on my part. I really hurt my own uh, situation there already. Okay, so we're going to do exactly what I said before, and we're just going to sit here and let the night play out. Okay, but it is actually daytime. The sun is out. Sun is up. Things are looking nice. And there's a dragon nearby. Oh god.
What the heck? My first kill! Yay. Okay, let's go ahead and start traveling a little bit here. Those things are terrifying. Okay, so one thing that I could do, we should check out more of the village, I think. Uh, I feel like that would be a good place to start with doing things. Just checking out more of the village, seeing more stuff that it has to offer. There is a dragon overhead that could very well kill me at any given moment here. So I'm going to go ahead and get inside here. Nice, he has wool. Uh, wool's not really going to matter too much because I'm going to steal his bed. To use in my own little shack. And that is just a skeleton skull. Cool. Okay, we're gonna go back to the little shack, and we're going to wait. What? What's attacking me from the water? Oh boy. What's that? Death number six? Luckily, I get to respawn right here. Come at me. Come on. Well, let's fight, tough boy. Tough guy? Huh? Tough guy? Hmm? You tough guy? This thing even still alive? It's not attacking me, it's not it's not doing anything. It doesn't have a health bar. I'm gonna assume it's not even still alive. Alright, let's go ahead and get a tree. Let's start getting some birch wood. broke after the first tree. Did I make a second axe? No. So that magic is just going to be annoying now. Basically. Okay, let's make a couple axes. This manticore is going to be extremely annoying to have just kind of hovering around me at all times. But, oh well. We can handle that.
all the wood go? There it is. Okay, so something I would like to go do is get some stone. So, uh, I don't have a pickaxe, and I don't want to run all the way back just to get one, so we're just going to make one here. He's like a little pet. A an annoying, evil, violent. I am kind of scared to be down there at the moment. So let's go ahead and head back to the shack. Okay, so how do we make that matchbox again? Let's take a look. Make the matchbox with planks and paper. Okay. Or with slabs and paper that we can make out of this. Okay, so paper, slabs, matchbox. And then a matchbox should light an unlit torch. So if we were to make a torch right now, an unlit torch, and place it, and then matchbox it, that lights it. Hell yeah. Very, very useful. Okay. But we are, of course, still able to collect vanilla torches and use them. Uh, it just will be nice to be able to make our torches and bring them with us whenever we want to. Okay. Well, next thing to do, probably, will be to... Let's make a sword. And let's start leveling up a little bit. Uh, let's actually make three swords. There's also a new enemy nearby me, apparently. Okay, so now we have plenty of swords. Uh, I don't think I know how to use... Oh, I do know how to use a stone sword. Alright. Sick. Okay. And then we'll store... A whole bunch of stuff. Let's take all these other chests. And, uh... Maybe it's time to... Real quick... Yeah, we're gonna do this real quick. We're gonna expand the house a little bit. Out backwards. Uh, kind of, kind of crummy looking. Like it doesn't look the greatest, but whatever. Um, it is nighttime again. We're probably just gonna chill for a little while. Let's go ahead and store some more stuff in here. <clears throat> we do want to level up, but we don't really want to be outside at night at the moment. We're not exactly ready for that. However, what we can do is we can make some sticks. I still don't know how to make sticks. How do we make sticks? Stick. To make a stick, we need planks and a saw. Okay, so where's that saw that we had earlier? Oh no. I lost the saw. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so we just have to use this. Oh, wait, we have sticks. Okay, good. Make f 
four stone picks. And that should be good enough for now. I believe that should be fine. Just having this for tools at the moment. We shouldn't really be needing a shovel. Uh, we should look up how to make some bandaging. So we need wool and string. Or we need paper and heart dust. A heart dust from a heart container, we get a heart container from heart crystal shards, and we get a heart crystal shards from heart dust. Okay. Oh, we also need a healing salve. How do I get a healing salve? We need flowers, dandelion, and a bowl. Or a cactus piece in a bowl. Okay. And then to make bandaging, we just need, yeah, just wool and plant string. Cool deal. Okay. And the reason I'm looking at all that is because, like I said, we have locational hit damage, and if our head or body drops to zero, we die. So aside from that, that's about all for this night. Um, let's go ahead and sleep. Again, guys, I'm very sorry for the sudden, abrupt ending to this episode. I didn't realize that I recorded enough to make actually three full episodes. Um... I was recording without a timer, which I'm going to do more uh, diligently in the upcoming episodes, but so the, the, these first three episodes are all one recording session. I just had to cut them up and kind of, you know, in editing, realized how long I had been recording and that making a 40 minute video would be a little bit too long, so I want to cut it down. I want to keep these around the 20 to 30 minute range at the most. But I did realize that the next bit of content that I do have recorded is enough to make a full episode. So I decided to end this one here with uh, obviously going to sleep on that night. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a subscription. If you want to see more of it, drop a like if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. Throw in a comment if you got something to say. I tend to check my comments about, you know, two, three times a day if there's some coming in whenever I get notifications. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Until next time, have a great day, guys.